I stumbled upon Monheim a few years ago and sort of just knew of them in the periphery and I'd heard some recordings with um, some of their mics. But then a few months ago, I got a chance to go to Andrew Monheim's studio in Hollywood and demo the FET. And it was tremendous. So I wanted to tell you the two reasons why I work with uh, Monheim and why I choose Monheim over just about everybody else in the studio. Um, the first reason is quality. Uh, Monheims are all handmade. They are made here in the United States. They're made 30 minutes from my house in Hollywood, California. Andrew Monheim is a real person. So when you get a Monheim microphone, he's put the work in. It's his design. It's his craftsmanship that you're getting. From a quality standpoint, it's based on the FET 47, but Andrew's made some really cool sort of modern EQ additions, adjustments, um, whatever you want to call them. It's it, it really brings it to the next level. From a creative standpoint, for me, the, the true test was this. So imagine this is the microphone, right? And here, here's the singer. This is like shadow puppetry. Um, there are a lot of times that when you sing, uh, you feel like the sound just stops here. And then there are some microphones where you can be singing and the sound sort of goes through to the middle of the capsule and then it sort of just died off. Well, with the Monheim Fett, I feel like I'm singing through all the way. And um, it really allows me to be freed up. I don't have to be as focused and aware of how I'm producing my sound for the sake of the recording. Because it allows me to put more of my heart and soul into the performance and not hold back. So in that sense, even though it's a studio mic, it really turns the recording into a very live energy performance. And that's something that I really strive to deliver to all of my, my listeners and my fans, is I want them to feel like they're in the room with me. It's a cardioid mic. Um, its frequency response is 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's got a traditional 10 dB pad and an 80 hertz low pass. There's a, a low noise, really low noise floor and high tolerance for SPL sources, which is really great. How, how have we used it? So I tracked vocals on it on Great North Road, which was our first single of 2020, which consequently ended up going to number one on the um, Radio Indie Alliance charts in England. We used the Omnis on the guitar. We used the FET on a guitar track as well. And then my drummer actually uses the FET and the Omnis when he's doing his drum tracks. Do Monheim microphones make me a better artist? Goodness, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> I think they, they allow me to be a more honest artist. And so if I can be more honest and more genuine because I don't have to worry about the way that I produce sound and I can just focus on the feeling and conveying the emotion of the song, then I feel like, yeah, I guess, you know, using Monheim mics does make me a better artist in that sense. For me, the thing that I love about Monheim from a relationship standpoint is that they're so genuine. There's nothing sterile and there's nothing by the book about them. And that's so great because it feels so creative. Like when you walk into Monheim HQ and you see Andrew tinkering away at stuff or you go in for a demo and he takes all the time in the world with you and answers all of your questions and just lets you kind of be in the space and um, I think really get to know the mics. Like it's, I know it sounds sort of weird, but there's definitely a relationship between this microphone and me. And I know when I walk up to it and I sing, I know exactly what's gonna happen. And there's a sense of um, confidence that comes with that. There's a peace when I step up and I see a Monheim mic and, I'm, and I just go, Oh, this is gonna be a great session. I can just tell. I already know. I can already hear what it's gonna be at the end.